right. Shaili is a IU grad, Persian Moroccan hospital magician who loves fascinating debates, Twitter networking, bubble tea, and TEDx and TED like events. Oh, look at that. Give it up for Shaili. Remember that show Survivor from back in the early 2000s? It still exists, and it's on its 38th season, and I haven't stopped watching. <laughs> There's a giant community of fans just like me behind the show. <laughs> Some of us even produce our own homemade versions of Survivor to play for fun. It's a hobby that I'm passionate about that has actually changed my life. Survivor contestants compete in challenges for rewards and immunity from elimination. They are progressively eliminated from the game as they are voted out by their fellow contestants until only one remains and is awarded the prize of $1 million. Survivor is not a reality show like the Kardashians, it's a reality competition show. It's more like a sport with loads of strategy. This game tests you socially, mentally, emotionally, physically, and beyond. And I have the utmost respect for this game and the players who endure it. And I too have that same competitive edge and desire as the contestants. And I, too, love to play Survivor. <laughs> Thus, my favorite hobby. At age 14, I discovered an online Survivor forum on MySpace. And within, <laughs> within that, uh, there were people who identified as online gamers, people who played versions of reality competition shows online like Survivor. <coughs> In that community, I felt like I knew everyone. We were a group around of around 60-ish uh, people from around the country. And I actually helped develop the community through starting and running a MySpace group called Shiley's Resort for online games. It was used to promote new games and for people to connect with each other socially. Long story short, managing this MySpace group was the earliest experience I had doing social media, long before social media was really a term that we used. So how does one play Survivor online? There is no island, we're not all in the same place, and we definitely don't have a million dollars. We chat on the phone, or at that time we use AOL Instant Messenger. <laughs> the people who take it upon uh, themselves to host have a duty to post a challenge every week or round of the game. And some example of competitions include categories, getting the highest score in Diner Dash, or even posting wars. And this is an endurance competition where you have to continuously post in a thread at certain hours uh, for uh, interval, at certain intervals for a period of time. And if my tribe lost, then we'd go to tribal council and vote someone off. The strategy aspect worked just like the real show. We had to get to know our tribe members uh, super well and build trust and form alliances to keep ourselves safe. I would come home from school and play for like eight hours straight making deals and scheming. <laughs> and uh, a whole game could take, play, take probably three months to complete depending on how good the host was and how long it lasted. So nowadays I obviously don't have that much time anymore to devote to these online games. So currently, I'm part of a community called Live Reality Games, where we actually go out into the woods and play our own home-produced versions of Survivor. <laughs> there are easily over 300 people in this scene across North America. And I know earlier this week, some of my co-speakers were wondering if these pictures were from the show or from my own games. These are from the last seven years of games I participated in. They run similar to the actual show, but take place between two and eight days. People drive in from all around the country to play. And I played one in the middle of Tennessee, and last fall I was in Manistee up in Michigan, and I even got offered to be flown to Vancouver to play one of these based on my internet notoriety in our community. <laughs> Just like the show, the hosts of our homemade version sometimes leave us with limited resources. One of the games didn't let us use our sleeping bags, and food is also limited, so we have to compete in challenges to earn supplies. One time I remember doing a team challenge and I told my tribe I wasn't a fast runner. Oh, this is it. Uh, there was a hurdle we had to go over and knowing this, one of my more athletic teammates instinctively picked me up like a bag of groceries and dropped me off on the other side. <laughs> and we won, so. Uh, another story from the trenches is when my friend from college and I played the same game, but we didn't want people to know that we knew each other. It's a really small community and this happens all the time. So to throw people off, I dropped them off at the Milwaukee airport while I drove to the meeting house so people wouldn't know that we had just spent the whole day together. <laughs> Another highlight uh, was last fall when I played a game where one contestant was being mean and fat-shamed other contestants. No one could stand that behavior. 
So in one of the last competitions of the game, I was able to publicly defend myself and everyone else they had wronged during that weekend while being streamed live for, on Facebook for our community to see. Messages of support for my actions came from all over the country. And as someone who was bullied a lot as a kid, I felt proud to be able to defend others. <laughs> there is usually no sizable prize when winning one of these games. <laughs> But it satisfies my insatiable competitive appetite more than anything else can. The hobby led me to a community of friends all around the country. My MySpace group, group let me my MySpace group led me to a career in social media. Live games led me to having the best vacations ever. Games led me to an amazing feeling that I got when a former internet survivor ally got on an actual televised reality competition show. The show has even had my mom. And, uh, the show has even led my mom and I to be even closer because we wait to watch the show together. Almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, the show is an escape from my own reality. What's the one thing that helps you all forget all the craziness we have going on in life? Like the show motto, are you ready to outwit, outlast, and outplay in this game of life? And as Jeff Prof says, who's the host of the show, in this game, fire represents your life, and when your fire is gone, so are you. So let me ask you, what's the thing that ignites your fire? <laughs> are you going to sit on the sidelines or are you going to play the game?